Joseph Stalin was probably one of the greatest murderers in the history of the world. During the 1930s, when he launched his great terror, he moved entire ethnic communities from one side of the Soviet Union to the other. He actually murdered uh, tens of thousands of, in fact, millions of Soviet citizens in the Gulag. He was responsible for the uh, death by starvation of millions more. Some historians say that he probably accounted for the lives of over 60 million Soviet citizens through his repressive reign of terror. It wasn't only the people of the Soviet Union who suffered under Stalin. Stalin and his immediate successors also wage war on the environment. And I've now written a book published in August this year called Stalin's Legacy, The Soviet War on Nature. And this outlines how, having dealt with the people of the Soviet Union and repressed them, Stalin and his cohorts then turned their attention to trying to overcome Mother Nature. He looked on nature as an enemy that could be overcome. He used nuclear weapons to level mountains, to turn mountains in Kazakhstan into atomic lakes where nothing could live. He used slave laborers to dig hundreds of kilometers of uh, canals and irrigation channels, which then led to the desiccation of the Aral Sea. In one generation, the Aral Sea lost about uh, two-thirds of its volume and shrank to a point where, when I visited the uh, city of Moynak in Uzbekistan, which back in the 1960s, uh, was a huge fishing port landing about 30,000 tons of fish every year. Now the sea is a hundred miles from Moynak and the whole area uh, which was used during the Soviet period for growing cotton. That's why the irrigation channels uh, were built. That area is now just covered in toxic dust storms causing terrible illness and disease across a wide expanse of the former Soviet Union. Then he tested over 600 nuclear weapons in the Polygon, an area of East Kazakhstan with a population living mostly in scattered villages on the steppe of about one and a half million people. He would wait until the wind was blowing towards the Kazakh villages, then detonate the nuclear bombs and his KGB doctors would then take blood tests every uh, month from the local villagers to see what effect the radiation had had on their health. The legacy of all of this is horrifying. This is a real modern horror story of environmental and global proportions. Now people who, uh, whose grandparents suffered the effects of radiation from the nuclear bomb tests uh, in the Polygon, their uh, children and their grandchildren are born with terrible deformities, with cancers, with diseases. The food supply is irradiated. Even the grass that the cows eat, the water that the people drink is radioactive. And this is a, a legacy of the Cold War. We in the West know little of what happened in these top secret nuclear tests, but there were real victims of the Cold War. So I've traveled extensively in Central Asia uh, during 2010 in particular, when I was uh, working on behalf of the uh, Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe as their sort of roving ambassador on the environment. And it's from that background that I've written this book, Stalin's Legacy, The Soviet War on Nature, available on Amazon uh, UK, Amazon US, uh, download it on Kindle or from good bookshops.